First, create new project in OES application. Fill the project name and select the existing folder where the project should be stored. Now, add the engineering application and put the target system inside of it. A runtime file is required for the target system. You can find it in the runtime repository folder at Opcon Drive. Add HMI module. For the HMI, a runtime file is also needed. It can be found in the same location as the runtime for the IPC. Now we can include the project standard objects using Opcon Object Browser tool. Click on the project tab and select the standard folder of our project. Click on the refresh button and then click on select OES standard. It will choose all objects which are necessary for the correct run. Then click the download button and wait, all objects are downloaded. It's a little bit speeding up in this video, so normally it takes more time for the download. As you can see in the object table, some new objects were added to our project. You can find them in the column named local. After the click on the refresh button in OES, you can see the newly added objects. Choose the mode handler template, which is root component of our station, and drag it into the modal tree. Rename it to station. Open the IPC settings and fill the IP address of your PLC. Project can be saved now. As the next step, we can add PLC runtime. You don't have to set up the project name, but the AMS net ID has to be filled. This ID can be found in the wicket menu of the target system, as you can see in the screenshot. After adding the PLC runtime, all standard libraries for the PLC has to be reloaded. So press the Reload Standard button. Now it's time for the project validation. In the bottom window you can see there are no warnings or errors, so we can press the Export button. The first time you run the export, you have to choose the right version of the Visual Studio. We use 2013 version in this case. During export, the Twinket window is automatically opened and you can see new content appears in the project tree. It contains linked libraries and code automatically generated from OES. Finally, we can try to build the project to see everything is OK and without any findings. We are done and later we can continue with the download and the project editing. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.